Welcome everybody to this new video, Elizabeth II and the Mona Lisa connection. After I finished my last two videos about the Joker, speaking about Stranger, and the last one about They Live, in which the decoding led me to the Mona Lisa, just after I posted my last video, Queen Elizabeth came to my mind because in Elizabeth there is the word Lisa and I felt that there was something here. So I checked the numbers and I did find a few things that linked her to Mona Lisa and the day after I saw on Facebook that she was dead. So I started checking some dates and I found some interesting things. So I decided to make a video on the topic as I was getting more slides. But as usual, I start a decode on one topic and that makes me laugh because I never know what to expect when I start a decode. I say, okay, I'm going to make a few slides and I end up with a whole bunch of slides and speaking about different topics. If you look at them without decoding, you wouldn't see the link. But with Gematria and Alchemy, you start seeing more things. Here we can clearly see that the Queen was linked to Mona Lisa because Queen Elizabeth II is 57 in Chaldean matching Lisa del Giocondo. And Elizabeth II Regina matches Lisa del Giocondo in seven different ciphers. Both names have the 196 in Francis Bacon, corresponding to the day of the year Lisa del Giocondo died. In Jewish ordinal we have 137 that represents the fine structure constant. Queen Elizabeth II not only matches Lisa del Giocondo but also matches the planet Earth. 57 that we have in Chaldean matches the Eight of Swords Tarot card and this card is linked to Earth. Eight of Swords is 127 in English Ordinal and this is the atomic mass of Tellurium that represents the Earth. With 127 in English Ordinal we have the New Earth, Deus Ex Machina, the dream machine and magnetic trap. So as we saw in my last video, the new earth is the new twin and it is the deus ex machina, the machine that creates this dream illusion. And we can see it is the new twin because 127 is linked to number 60 in pi. 60 appears at the 127th digit of pi. And 60 is the number of element neodymium, that means new twin. And Elizabeth II Regina is 144 in English ordinal, matching the atomic mass of element neodymium. So you can see that the two numbers representing the queen, the 57 and the 144, lead to element tellurium, showing that the queen represented this matrix. 57 is linked to the number 54 in the golden ratio because 54 appears at the 57th digit. 54 is element xenon and xenon means stranger. So apart from matching Lisa del Giocondo and the planet Earth, 57 matches the green architect, the green screen, the first fool, and in my last two videos you can see what the first fool is. It's the Laughing God. The Truman Show. The planet Earth is the Truman Show. The Earthlight Grid. Who is the Goblin? Who is the Wizard? The Earth is the Wizard and the Green Goblin. This Matrix Earth, of course. Frequency Waves and Prince of the Air. And we saw it operates through frequency, making this hypnagogic trance. We also have reincarnation trap, 
so the earth itself is the reincarnation trap and the pot of ash. So this planet is the pot of ash. It works as a phoenix. And jack to the sound because it's made of sound frequencies. And it is the jack, the pirate hijacking the source. So we saw that Elizabeth II Regina was 144 in English original, matching the atomic mass of element neodymium, and neodymium is the 60th element of the periodic table, and 60 appears at the 127th digit of pi, matching the atomic mass of tellurium that represents the Earth. 127 is linked to the cable 54 signal in English ordinal. So as we saw in my previous video, the Earth is the satellite emitting the cable 54 signal, and the Queen represented the Earth. And another layer that shows this is that Elizabeth II Regina is 52 in Chaldean, matching the number of Tellurium and also matches Cable 54 satellite. So here it is very clear that the Queen represented the Earth that emits this 54 signal. And in my last video we saw that it was a beat of 54 beats per minute. So you can see here the link between the Queen and the satellite signal. With 52 in Chaldean we also have Prison Planet, Broadcasting signal, so you can see here clearly that the name of the Queen matches this signal. We also have television set, Project MK Ultra, Action at Distance, this is the mind control, Low Frequency, because this satellite is emitting low frequencies, Dermiurge's Code. This signal emitted by the Earth is the code of the Demiurge. Hadron Collider, this is a cyclotron, and we saw that the Earth was a huge cyclotron. God of Murder, the Machine God, the Earth is the Machine God. Apex Predator, this matches very well God of Murder. And we have Reality Simulation. Her complete name is Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor, and in Chaldean we have 96. British royal family is also 96 in full reduction, and she was 96 years old when she died, at least officially, because many people think that she had died before. So anyway, her complete name is 96 matching element curium, and the symbol of Curium is a satellite, confirming what we saw in the previous slide. Her name is 131 in Jewish reduction, matching the atomic mass of element Xenon, the 54th element of the periodic table. With 54 we have the British Queen. So here you can see that her name was scripted to become the Queen. We also have Earth is a Hologram, the Da Vinci Code, the Television, and we saw that this holographic Earth works as a television, the Machine Elf, the Jealous God, Dungeon Master, Hypnotic Trance, the Dream Machine, Dreams Transmitter, the Virtual Reality, living on video. So we saw before that the Earth was the dream machine. We also have haunted machine, the digital spider, blood control, trapped in hell, inverted world, and the matrix has you. With 131 in English ordinal we have a tempo of 54 BPM. So this is the beat of the Earth the cable 54 signal. 
It's interesting to see that Prince Charles is also 131 in English ordinal. Other expressions with 131 in English ordinal are the mocking god, this is the laughing god, psychopath, serial killer, mass murder. This is related to what we've seen in other videos about the laughing god, about the joker. And it's also due to the fact that the machine feeds on blood. Then we have regeneration, live, die, repeat, that is the reincarnation process. The airwaves, a reference to the signal. Spirit in a cage, system bug, dream reality, prison bars, and the angel of death. 54 appears at the 191st digit of pi matching the atomic mass of element osmium. Osmium represents the operating system and also the wizard of Oz. Osmium is the 76th element of the periodic table and with 76 in Chaldean we have cable 54 digital broadcasting. So once again, we can see that the queen was totally linked to this code, to the signal. With 191 in English ordinal, we have endings and beginnings, infinite time loop, a primitive archaic game, they live, we sleep, the clown's world, and spirit in matter, which is the aim of the matrix, putting the spirits in the material world. And 191 is the 43rd prime number, matching element technetium, and this element means artificial, showing that the matrix is artificial. And 43 is also linked to the spider medicine card, which represents the demiurge. Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor is 327 in English ordinal. 327 appears at the 27th digit of pi, matching element cobalt that means goblin. Xenon is 27 in Chaldean, so we have a link between cobalt and xenon. Goblin is 21 in Chaldean, and 21 appears at the 54th digit of the golden ratio. So once again we can see that her numbers are linked to this element Xenon, that means stranger. She was born on April the 21st, 1926, and April 21 is 59 in English ordinal, matching Joker and Goblin. Her name equals 5,555 in squares. If you multiply 5 by 4, you get 20, and 2 is duality, and actually 20 is duality in Chaldean. The Queen was born on April 21st, which is a 59 in English ordinal. 59 matches element praseodymium, that means green twin. The green twin is the green goblin. With 59 in English ordinal, we have anchor, goblin and joker. And we also have archon. In Chaldean, with 59, we also have the British monarch, which is what she was. And also, we have cable 54 broadcasting, the Parasite System, The God of Dream, It's the Killer Clown, The Oak Apple Gull, and we will see the Apple Gull at the end of the presentation. What is the Louche, The Soul Harvest, Electromagnetism, Lucifer Light Trap, Orange Frequency, The Chief Archon, The Fallen Angels, The Sewage Dump, Generator of Data, The Game of Life, Phoenix Reborn, and Radio Frequencies. April 21st, 1926 is 77 in English ordinal matching the Queen of England in Chaldean. 
and 77 appears at the 36th digit of the golden ratio, and 36 is her date of birth in Chaldean, matching the queen. So those numbers are showing predestination. Seventy-seven matches element iridium, and this element has the symbol of a dragonfly. Iridium comes from the name Iris, that is the goddess of the rainbow, and the rainbow is the symbol of Oz. Something interesting is that the dragonfly is card 27 in the medicine deck, and 27 in alchemy matches element cobalt, that means goblin, so we are back to this goblin again. And we already had the goblin linked to the complete name of the queen, Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor. And also in the previous slide, when we saw April 21st was 59, matching praseodymium, that is the green twin, and 59 in English ordinal matching goblin. And the dragonfly represents the dragon. The dragon is the machine, and dragon is also related to Draco. Now in Chaldean, with 77, we have what is the planet Earth, and I think that this place works as a phoenix. The dragon is the phoenix. And this is why we had the pot of ash before, with the number 57. And Phoenix reborn with the 59. We also have Lush Harvesting Matrix, the Particle Accelerator, the Black Cube of Saturn, the Never-Ending Story, the Deadliest Predator, the Clown Pennywise, and if you've watched my other videos, you will remember that It's the Killer Clown represents the printer of the Matrix and is the same as the Green Goblin. The Desert of the Real, a sentence from the Matrix movie. Then Scorpio the Game Master. And Scorpio is the Eagle, that is the Phoenix. And what is REM's sleep phase? In English ordinal with 77, we have oak apple. So once again, we have this oak apple. And the dead eagle. The dead eagle is the phoenix. The sine and cosine waves of 77 sum up to 119, and 119 is linked to the tetragrammaton. 47 appears at the 119th digit of pi. Now let's take a look at her birthday card. The card corresponding to the 21st of April is the King of Clubs. It represents royalty, of course, and it's an air card, so that goes very well with the use of frequencies. And this card matches her name in Chaldean. Queen Elizabeth II and the King of Clubs are 57 in Chaldean. So this card is the 26th card of the deck, matching I am that I am and the Yod in Chaldean. 26 is element iron, and iron is what we have in the blood when we are in the material world. The symbol of iron, when you put it upside down, looks like an anchor. 26 appears at the sixth digit of pi. The sixth element of the periodic table is carbon. This is indicating carbon because life down here is based on carbon. This is the carbon copy. King of Clubs is 43 in Chaldean, matching planet Earth and magnetic Earth. 
and of course matching the spider tarot card and element technetium that means artificial. So here again we are back to the spider card. So we can see that the Queen's birthday card also links to the spider card that of course represents the Demiurge and the web we are caught in. In English Ordinal we have 119 and King of Clubs matches motherboard in 17 different ciphers. 119 is linked to number 47 because 47 appears at the 119th digit of pi. And 47, as you know, is the tetragrammaton. With 43 in Chaldean, we have the question, what is cable 54? So this is telling us that this is this web we are caught in, and this web is artificial. And this is also telling us that this is the web of the Demiurge. With 43 in Chaldean, we also have wave emitter, planet Earth and magnetic Earth that we saw before, prison Earth, death machine, technology, the illusion, human bodies. So this signal is probably what causes incarnation. The ink plate. So this has to do with the printing industry and the printing press the printer of the matrix, Truman Show, once again confirming that the Earth is working as a Truman Show, and Memory Wipe. This is what happens when we incarnate. And 43 appears at the 27th digit of the golden ratio matching element Cobalt, that means Goblin. So we are back to this Goblin and this green Goblin. And with 27 in Chaldean, we have the word Xenon. So we are back to this element Xenon, that means stranger, and the number 54. So we had the 119 twice. One related to the birth date of the queen, that was 77, and the sine and cosine of 77 add up to 119. And the second one is also linked to this number, because it is linked to the birthday card, and the birthday card of Elizabeth is the King of Clubs, which is 119 in English Ordinal. This matches the atomic mass of element tin, and tin is 10 in Chaldean, which is the X, that is the Jack, and that is the Wheel of Fortune Tarot card that represents reincarnation. So she was born on April the 21st of 1926, which is 25, and Mona Lisa is 25. So here again, we have another connection to Mona Lisa. And Stranger is also 25. 25 matches element manganese and we can see the symbol of the magnet. Because Earth is the magnetic trap. And ER2 is 25 in English ordinal. ER2 is the abbreviation for Elizabeth Regina II. Now, the date of her death is September the 8th, 2022, and we have 23. ER is 23. We also have Balmoral being 23, and this is the place she died. So you can see that we have the same number for the date when she died and the place where she died. 23 in Chaldean also matches crown, and she was the head of the crown. With 23 in Chaldean, we also have 54 BPM and cable 54. So the queen was really linked to everything we saw in my previous video. ER is 7 in Chaldean, but when you look at the letters, we have 52, 5 for E and 2 for R. 
and 52 is once again element tellurium, representing the Earth. The date of her death on September the 8th, 2022, is 52 in Chaldean, and here we have a very direct link to element tellurium. And Elizabeth II Regina is also 52 in Chaldean. So the number of her title matches the date she died. In English ordinal, we have 117, matching the Mona Lisa. So once again, we have this Mona Lisa. She was really scripted with this uh, Mona Lisa code. Then we have Kiss of Death. Funny because she died on this date. And we have Chosen by God and the Seal of God. Obviously the seal of the Demiurge. And she visited 117 countries during her reign. Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II is 102 in Chaldean. And this is the number of element nobilium. Noble, of course, represents the nobility. 102 is linked to the number 47 because 47 appears at the 102nd digit of the golden ratio. 47 is the tetragrammaton. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II is 88 in Chaldean matching element radium that represents Ra. In Chaldean with 88 we have the architect of the matrix, holographic projection, and the matrix of deception. It is interesting that Elizabeth is 88 in English ordinal. Elizabeth II is 90 in English ordinal matching the Lord of the Dead in rebirth and the place of suffering. 90 appears at the 76th digit of the golden ratio, matching element osmium that represents the operating system and the Wizard of Oz. And cable 54 digital broadcasting is 76 in Chaldean. And 35 is also linked to the number 177 in the golden ratio because 177 appears at the 35th digit of the golden ratio. And 54 beats per minute is 177 in English ordinal. Elizabeth II is 35 in Chaldean, matching the following expressions. Hypnagogia, REM sleep, Dream Spirit and MK Illusion, referring to the God of Sleep, and the REM sleep phase that causes the illusion. We also have La Gioconda, which is Mona Lisa. Then we have Incarnation, the Wizard, matching what we had with Osmium, the Goblin. So this is not the first time we see the link between the Queen and the Goblin. Then Cyclotron, Fake Copy. Simulation. She represented this simulation. Clockwork and evil entity. And in Fibonacci we have 227. Death of Queen Elizabeth II is 227. With 127 we also have the reptilian royals. Put the soul in a body. Control of the masses. And toxic radioactivity. And 227 is an important number because when you divide 22 by 7, you get 314, which is pi. Elizabeth was crowned at Westminster Abbey on June 2, 1953. This date is 70 in English ordinal, and she reigned 70 years. Death of the Queen is 70 in Chaldean. And we have the following expressions with 70 in Chaldean. The matrix code system. The television signal. The land of the dead. Who is the imposter? The hypnotic spell. 
the keeper of time and quantum technology. So she died in 2022, the year of her Platinum Jubilee. And Platinum Jubilee is 222 in Francis Bacon, matching the year she died, 2022. So we have the 222. The Queen supposedly died in Balmoral, and this name contains the word Baal, like the god Baal, and we also have the root Mor, which means dead or death, and Al, that is the god El. The Balmoral Castle is 167 in English ordinal matching the atomic mass of element erbium and the symbol of erbium is an urn. So that goes very well with the more that means death in the name of the place. 167 is the 39th prime number and with 39 in alchemy it matches element ethereum that has the symbol of the satellite emitting the orange waves, those poisoning frequencies. With 167, in English ordinal we have phoenix rising and energy harvest, and those two expressions match in 15 different ciphers. So it's interesting to see that phoenix rising is associated with the energy harvest, which makes sense. The Balmoral Castle is 56 in Chaldean, and this is a very special number. This corresponds to element barium, that has an atomic mass of 137. 137 is the fine structure constant, and with 137, we have the queen is dead, so it's interesting that she supposedly died in this place. With 137, we have the TV signal, related to cable 54 in They Live. With 56 in Chaldean, we have television signal, and also hypnotic spell, hologram device, operating system, and we saw the element osmium before, Pi Infernal Circle, the Land of Oz, the Reincarnation, the Trojan Horse, the Parasite's Mind, the Matrix Parasite, the Artificial Matrix, and the False World. Here is another connection between the date of death, September the 8th, 2022, and the expression, the Queen died. Here we have a strange connection between Balmoral Castle and Lisa Gerardini. We have a match in 12 different ciphers. Apart from this connection between the Balmoral Castle and the Queen and Lisa Gerardini, in this presentation we saw quite a few other ones. So, first of all, Queen Elizabeth II was 57 in Chaldean matching Lisa del Giocondo. We also had the date of her death matching the Mona Lisa. Then we had Elizabeth II matching La Gioconda in Chaldean. We also had a match between Elizabeth II Regina and Lisa del Giocondo in seven different ciphers. We also had the date of birth of Elizabeth 
matching Mona Lisa in Chaldean. And I just found that the date of birth of both of them are a perfect match in English ordinal, being a 77. So here you can see June 15, 1479, which is Lisa Gerardini's birth date, and April 21, 1926, which is the date of birth of Elizabeth. And finally we have the British Queen matching the Da Vinci Code in Chaldean. So these are quite a lot of connections here regarding numbers. Another thing is that the Queen and Lisa Gerardini have the name Mary as a third name. For Lisa Gerardini we have Lisa di Antonio Maria Gerardini. So we have Maria which is Mary. And for the Queen we had Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor. So you see that Mary occupies the same position, the third position in their names. And in my video about the Joker and the Stranger I speak about this connection with the Virgin Mary. And finally we have another thing in common, which is this King of Clubs card. This is the birthday card of Queen Elizabeth, and it is also the card corresponding to the death of Lisa del Giocondo. Here you can see the Queen on her coronation day. She is holding this sphere called Globus Cruciger that represents the Earth, so she is reigning over the Earth. She is sitting on a throne that is a tron because the earth works as a gigantic cyclotron that creates the material world, hence all those movies with the word tron. And tron shows a simulated world. So she is reigning over the simulation. And this symbol is also a representation of the oak apple. The Globus Cruciger is 193 in English ordinal matching virtual reality, so this is a confirmation that she is holding the simulation. What is the throne? Magnetic attraction, and we saw in the previous videos that the Earth is the magnetic trap. Death comes to us all. Earthly experience so, of course, this object is a representation of the Earth. Toxic frequencies, and we saw many times the orange waves. And the soul harvest. And 193 is one of the atomic masses of element osmium. And here again we have this operating system. And it also represents the Wizard of Oz. The Globus Cruciger is 63 in Chaldean, matching the following expressions. Queen of England. What is planet Earth? And we saw during this presentation that she was a representation of this planet. Planet Earth system. So this is more than obvious that this object represents the Earth. Then we have Particle Accelerator. This is the cyclotron, and I was saying before that in my opinion, Earth is a gigantic cyclotron. The nuclear reactor. Mischievous spirit. We saw in most of my videos that what is running this reality is a mischievous spirit, an evil entity. The fabric of reality. So this is a confirmation of what we saw in my previous video, that the machine that is making this fake reality is Earth itself. We also have the land of slavery, supercomputer, the Earth works as a quantum computer, and black cube of Saturn. Globus Crossiger is 160 in English ordinal matching the Thunderdome, 
The Cosmic Comedy and the Radiation Field. In alchemy, it matches one of the atomic masses of element dysprosium, and the picture of the symbol of dysprosium is a nuclear reactor. Globus Crusiger is 49 in Chaldean, and with 49 we have the following expressions. The simulation, nuclear reactor, so this matches the symbol of dysprosium, Cyclotron Sun, demonic entity, and we saw before the mischievous spirit, space-time trap, hologram reality, and matrix hologram. So once again, this is a confirmation that this object is a representation of the simulation. 49 appears at the 57th digit of pi. And with 57, we have the planet Earth. And if you remember, we had Lisa del Giocondo and Queen Elizabeth II. So when I saw this, the Globus Crusiger matching death comes to us all, this suddenly came to my mind. And I had started a decode about death some time ago and never finished it because I started working on other things. But I do have like a hundred slides about it. It's a decode and a documentary. And I had decided to do it because I saw those figures in a shop in Cancun and I found it creepy and took some pictures. When I looked at the pictures, I wondered why those statues were holding the earth. And now I just made the connection. It all makes sense. So this is a death cult. That is a huge thing in Mexico. This is the dark side of Mexico. Some people have that in their houses. It's really creepy. So here it's called La Santa Muerte, which is the holy death. So they are worshipping death. And they don't worship death only on Dia de Muertos. Some people worship death all the time. And they have those statues. So when they show death holding the earth, this means literally that it is death that owns the world. It is death that rules the world. And this is why in my recent decodes we had the death machine. And then I understood that the death machine was Earth. If you watched my two last videos, if you haven't, I suggest you to, to watch them because you will see all the connections. Here you can get an idea of how big this cult is. You will find thousands of pictures on internet, and apparently they are everywhere, in every city of the country. Here you can see the Holy Death holding the Earth and uh, the scythe of Saturn. And you can see a reptilian, a crocodile or alligator. It is also a symbol of the Earth, the printer of the Matrix. So these two pictures represent the same thing. The one on the right is made to look more glamorous, but the deep meaning is the same. This simulation is the land of the dead. For life to exist, there must be death here, because for life to exist on this planet, there must be death. Everything feeds on death. Life grows on corpses in nature. In order to live, we have to kill. Most human beings don't do it themselves. But even plants are killed. But even if you decide to eat only plants and vegetables and fruits, you have to cut them and kill them 
and everything is sentient on this planet. It's a predator-prey world. This earth is our urn. It is the pot of ash. They must have used very dark spells to bind us to death. And of course technology. And this is why the controllers are using rituals to keep us asleep so that people don't wake up and want to escape this place. And in this decode we saw that the queen was really linked to the Da Vinci code, which is a code to conquer and Cable 54 from the movie They Live. And in the movie They Live, you see that the invaders are not human, they are dead. And there is another movie that shows this. It's Dark City. And in Dark City, they are the strangers. And they are parasites inside dead human bodies. And they are the ones messing up with people's memories and experimenting on people that they hijacked and brought into the, this um, dark world. So everything points out that they are not human and they are totally parasitic. And we can see it manifested in this reality. So this was all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.